Welcome Troy Madison, in your room at the RBC Canadian Open. Five under to start your, uh, your tournament. Maybe give us an update on conditions out there and uh, just some slots on your round. You know, basically the golf course is, you know, it's in really good shape. You know, with a little bit of rain, it softened the fairways up, so it's a little easier to hit fairways. The greens have uh, softened up and, uh, you know, it's just, it's easy to hit your eights, nines, sevens in there and, and get them to stick and they don't spin too much. So when that happens, usually, you know, guys will score pretty well. Um, obviously with the par fives, you know, three woods are stopping on the green. So, you know, if you hit good drives there, you've got a, got a good chance. But, you know, the rough is, you know, in, in spots, it can be really bad. And, uh, you know, you got to keep it out of there today. Okay, and just, uh, you've been on a pretty good streak so far. How about uh, you just kind of tell, tell us a little bit about your season and where your game's at right now? Well, you know, I didn't, didn't start all that well this season. And, uh, you know, usually I don't get off to a good start. But, you know, as of late, I've started to hole some more putts and uh, started to save some of those pars. And, uh, you know, it makes playing a little bit easier when, uh, when you're doing those things. And uh, that's just something I haven't, haven't done early in the season. So, you know, things are starting to come around. Confidence is starting to rise a little bit. And I'm kind of an end-of-the-season player anyway. So, you know, I enjoy it. Very good. Open up the questions, and Mike will be passed to you. Ian? Uh, Troy, just uh, if you could expand a little bit on how the greens are receiving the balls. I mean, is, is it is it like throwing darts out there right now? I mean, yeah, if you hit it in the fairway with ball in hand, obviously you got a clean ball, perfect lie. And, you know, when you get wedges, I mean, they're, they're, they're spinning back. So, you know, guys out here don't, some guys don't spin it very much. So those guys will obviously have a, a little easier time. But, you know, for me, staying back in that nine, eight, seven range, the ball just hits and stops. So... You know, you don't have to worry a whole lot about it, uh, of you know the ball getting away from you. And, and with the par fives, I mean, the ball's pretty much hitting the green and stopping too. It hit three wood into into 17, and it went about six yards. So, you know, if you can get there, it's a huge advantage. Uh, you know, obviously early in the week, uh, those balls were running to the back or running off the edges. So, it made a big difference. Are you, are you staying in Hamilton, like right in the city of Hamilton? I sure am. Did, did you listen? To, did you hear the storm last night? I did actually uh, about two o'clock in the morning or 1 a.m. something like that. I remember waking up and actually hearing the thunder. So I wasn't really sure how much rain came down, but you know, there's no casual water out there, which is which is um, you know pretty odd. You would have thought there would have been spots where it might have been really wet, but you know the golf course drains off pretty well. And and uh, you know all in all, there's we could have we could have played the ball down in our group, but you know obviously if they get some this afternoon, that's going to make a big difference. <clears throat> two, were, you, were you here two years ago at, um, at St. George's? I don't know if I was, no, I don't think I was here two years okay. ago. St. George's is very much like this place, mm -hmm. an old style golf course, one of the better known ones in Canada. And it, it rained, it got a little humid out, it, it became very soft. And a lot of people were saying, well, maybe it was the first time the Canadian Open had been played there in a long time. Mm -hmm. They said, well, maybe St. George's can't handle the Canadian Open anymore. But a lot of people were saying, well, hold on, you know, it was, it, the conditions were pretty, you know, pretty soft, and yeah. You know, can the golf course? I guess what I'm leading to is, can the golf course kind of get a bad reputation because of something like this? Well, I think most people, and, and you really need to explain it like this. You know, you, you know, you're in the Great Lakes region in the summertime, basically. I mean, you're going to get rain, and when you get rain, you're going to get a lot of rain. Uh, you know, the one year it was at Angus Glen. I don't, I don't think it rained that year very much. Maybe it didn't rain at all, and it was pretty firm there. Um, but guys didn't enjoy that course as much as they enjoy this course. Um, I think this is the guys, this is their favorite place to play up here. Um, and the reason for that is you get a lot of variance in tee shots. You know, there's three woods, there's two irons, there's hybrids, there's drivers. It's not like our typical, you know, your caddy walks up to the tee box and hands you driver on every hole. Sometimes on a par three too. But you know, um, this guys love this course because you got to make shots. You got You got to turn it right to left. You got to turn it left to right. You really got to think about what you're doing. Um, and when you look at the winners, um, I think Furyk was uh, one here last time it was here. And um, you know, he knows how to pick apart a golf course. And that's what you have to do here. You can't just hit driver everywhere and and score out here. You have to really think about where the pin is and what you want in off the tee and what you want into the green. Um, the only other, the other one I played is uh, Glen Abbey, and when, when it rains at Glen Abbey, it, it does, it floods. Um, it, it cannot handle the water, and, and I don't know if it's because of the, the base material there, or if it's just the way it's set up. Um, once you get down in the bottom, it's pretty flat, so that bottom holds a lot of water, and even the front side holds a lot of water. So, you know, this golf course obviously has the contour to drain well, so guys enjoy it here.
I mean, if we get 10 to 20 mile an hour winds and we get no rain the rest of the week, I mean, it's only going to improve. I mean, they've done a, a fantastic job of getting this golf course in shape. And, um, you know, I know it's been tough because there has been a lack of rain and, you know, that does kind of mess things up. But, I mean, the course is in wonderful shape. Any more questions? All right. Troy Madison, thank you. Thank you.